Good morning, Christ Church International. This is your pastor, Pastor Daryl John Geddes, and these are your CCI announcements for September the 6th, 2020. There's just something about laughter. Proverbs 17.22 says, A merry heart doeth good like a medicine. A little boy was kneeling beside his bed with his mother and grandmother and softly saying his prayers. Dear God, please bless mommy and daddy and all the family and please give me a good night's sleep. Suddenly, he looked up and shouted, And don't forget to give me a bicycle for my birthday! There's no need to shout like that, said the mother. God isn't deaf. No, said the little boy, but Grandma is. <laughs> he knew where that bicycle was coming from. <laughs> Join me and Global Horizons for Justice and Mercy 5 and 10K Walk and run around Lake Phelan in St. Paul on Saturday, October 3rd at 10 a.m. To register, Contact Global Horizons on the website listed on the screen. This is Pastor Daryl Geddes, and this is our little insert called Coping with COVID. Today we have with us Pastor Samuel Orbomache, one of our youth pastors here at Christ Church International. And we're going to interview him and ask him a few questions about how he is coping with COVID-19. COVID-19 has created a brand new reality for us. Absolutely. How has COVID-19 affected you? Yeah, so COVID-19, we were, were like six months deep into this at this yeah, point. And six uh, months. Yeah, it, initially, like the first couple of months were somewhat trying, I should say. Okay. Uh, socially, you know, going from driving to work every day, mm -hmm. um, youth group on Fridays, church on Sundays, to kind of right. sheltering that place right. for an extended amount of time. <laughs> uh, so I think... That was probably the most important thing that affected me was like that lack of the social interaction okay, okay. on a broader scale. Yeah, we almost became monks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were cloistering away, you know, and uh, not because we wanted to necessarily, but mm -hmm. because we had to. Well, what's been your greatest challenge, Samuel, mm -hmm. your greatest challenge uh, during this COVID-19 experience when you've been sheltering at home? Yeah, I'll just say the the, the social aspect of okay, it. Okay. Um, granted, I am an introvert, okay. uh, but like I still me get too, I too. still get some energy from being <laughs> right. around others. Right, right. Um, and you know, we are made. We're social beings. Yeah. That's what God made us to be. You know, to be in that community. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so that lack of it um, on an extended scale really impacted me. That was probably the most challenging thing for okay. me. Okay. Um, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people can kind of yeah. uh, relate to that. Yeah. You know. So so how have you? How have you effectively addressed that? Even though you're an introvert, just like I am, mm -hmm. you know, how have you effectively addressed that lack of social contact and interaction? Gotcha. So the first thing was that I noticed was kind of going into my, the family. Yeah. You know, so living with the family right, and, right, and staying right. there, it was like, okay, I can be, I can be social <laughs> with my family. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we, we actually really connected, you know, That's going excellent. from like the worships on Sunday, worshiping mm -hmm. together as a family, together in the living room, uh, whether it was Sunday dinners that we started doing um, wow. before everyone was like, right, run, right, and da, da, da. Eating on the run. Eating yeah. on the run, yeah. you know, brunch at whatever. Yeah. Um, but eating together has also been a way to, to, to do that. And uh, with my cousins and my sisters who live, one of my sisters who, who lives in L.A., okay. we started doing Zoom meetings. Ah, yeah, nice, so nice. We, we, we did that about a couple of times. Yeah, I, I just noticed on on uh, Facebook that Ivana's birthday is the same day as, as your my dad's. Dad, yeah, yeah. So happy birthday to Ivana and to uh, my member, I call him, uh, <laughs> Charlie Orobomache. Uh, <laughs> parting words, What if you were to challenge uh, people who are facing COVID-19 and are wrestling 
with whatever they're wrestling with, what would be your challenge to them? And, and speak right into the camera as you tell us. Absolutely. So if you're dealing with uh, uh, the social thing that I talked about, I would encourage you to find creative ways to interact with other people um, because we do need that. Yeah. Um, so for instance, like when we did Bags of Hope here, right, yeah. on Saturdays, that was an extended time yes. with a lot of people that I hadn't <laughs> seen in many, many yeah, months. Yeah. And it was consistent. And granted, Bags of Hope, we finished that on August 22nd. Um, but there are other avenues that we're going to be having as a church to be social. Um, and we'll probably yeah. talk more about that in the announcements. This is the announcement. So <laughs> I guess I can talk about that. So young adults starting uh, September 17th, yeah, there's an good, opportunity good. for that. Uh, for the youth, I know we've done different things this summer. Uh, we're going to have MYC for one day, October 16th, so that's another way that yeah. you can be social. That's good. Um, but that's yeah, good. be creative uh, and you know, put yourself out there and you know, God will, God will see us through. Amen, amen. Well, this has been your pastor and this has been Coping with COVID with Pastor Daryl Geddes and with Pastor Samuel Orobomashe. Yes, God bless you, we'll see you next week. Right. The installer of the laminate flooring in the Connecting Point Cafe informed me that they expect delivery of the flooring by Monday, September 14th. That means we have two Saturdays to remove the carpeting and prepare the floors for installation. Thanks for your help this past Saturday, September 5th, and I want to remind you that we will need your help this coming Saturday, the 12th at 9 a.m. COVID-19 is not going to stop youth convention. Here's a video preparing you for youth convention. As always, log on to cclife.org where you will find links to our online giving, to our online sermons, and to all of our social media networks. This has been your pastor, Pastor Daryl John Geddes, and these have been your Christchurch International Announcements. I sincerely hope that you enjoy the rest of our service. Jehovah.